Many years ago, I lived with my parents in their condo in Madison, Tennessee, just north of Nashville. And one Easter, my mother decided to have the family over for a big Easter celebration after church. And she put up these decorations, these small cardboard cutout pictures of rabbits all over the hallway entryway to the house. Now then, we had a cat adopt us during this time period who lived in the condo complex. We called her Ragdoll. She's this big old Maine Coon cat. Very loving creature. She'd come by the house every day and visit with us and take a nap and get a little something to eat and then she'd say thank you by leaving us a dead bird every morning like cats, cats will do. So the day before Thanksgiving, my mother uh, puts up these decorations in the hallway. Ragdoll comes in about noon and she just goes in and she starts looking around. She sees the decorations and something catches her eye like that. And she looks at the decorations and then looks at my mom and looks at the decorations again. One more time. And she goes, yeah, 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 yeah. So, <laughs> I know you're getting ahead of me. <laughs> so the next day, we're having our uh, getting set up for our Easter lunch. All the families over at the house. My little niece Caroline is about two years old. And uh, we're in the living room. And I hear this piercing scream. And she goes, ah! Ragdoll killed the Easter Bunny! Ragdoll killed the Easter Bunny! And we went to the door and Ragdoll was there on the porch with a rabbit in her mouth. <laughs> it's standing there so proud. And, you know, showing us that it hopped up and down and down before she pounced on it. <laughs> she was so happy about it. <laughs> my mom went out there and said, get that thing away from here. And she gave my mom a look like, this is what you wanted. <laughs> no, go, go. Take it elsewhere, please. Go, go. And so she picked up the rabbit and, and went and jumped over the fence and, and disposed of it in peace for her own special Easter brunch. But just a little funny story I wanted to leave with you guys. Good night.